What is this? This is DNA. What is DNA and how does it work? In 1869, Friedrich Mischer discovered DNA, but he couldn't figure out anything else about it. After that, year by year, DNA was studied more and more. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is a molecule, a molecule that forms with a bunch of atoms and they form this shape. The shape of a DNA which everybody has seen before is called a double helix. You could say it looks like a twisted ladder. If you've studied biology in school before, you should know that the DNA is a blueprint or like a recipe. But how does a molecule give a blueprint? Blueprint of a tree, dog, or a dinosaur. If we want to answer these questions, first we have to know about amino acids. If you look at life like a building, Amino acids are the building blocks. There are 20 different amino acids, and you could say there are 20 different bricks used to build a building. Amino acids in different forms stick together and create protein. Amino acids create proteins, Proteins create cells, cells create tissue, and tissues turn into organs. If all of these things we're showing work together and connect to each other, a living thing is born, just like you and I. Proteins that create cells have a really important job. They have to make the protein so perfect that it works correctly. Because if a protein is not created properly, it does not work. This is the moment DNA steps in. DNA does a lot of interesting stuff and there's still a lot to learn. But the one thing we're certain that DNA does is that it gives the amino acid orders and tells them how to be put together to create a protein. In theory, if everything is put together properly, the thing that gets created is a healthy being. If you simplify a DNA, this is what you see. You can see each strand by the letter and the shape. If you see the shapes, they have different letters, colors, and shapes. We're looking at this really up close because there are millions of these strands in a DNA. All of these strands are stuck together inside the nucleus. But the amino acids are outside in the cytoplasm. So how does the DNA inside the nucleus turn the amino acids into protein? For DNA to come out of the nucleus, it has to turn itself into RNA, and it looks like a DNA cut in half. When it gets thinner like this, it can exit the nucleus, and it goes towards the ribosome. So what is the ribosome? Ribosome is like a protein machine. This part of the cell is really interesting. It's kind of like a 3D printer that gets RNA from one side and the ribosome starts reading the code. And when it reads the code, it needs some material. So what is that material? The amino acids. In this section, the ribosome starts sucking the amino acids from its environment. And as it reads the code off the RNA, it creates the protein that it's told. You could say that RNA is the programming code, the ribosome is a 3D printer, and amino acids is like a material, kind of like plastic and 3D printing. Ribosome has an important job. 
it reads the RNA 3x3 and that's the code for one amino acid. Like CAA is this amino acid or AGU is this amino acid. Pretty much like a computer. A computer that RNA is the programming. The protein that exits does a lot of things and one of them is to create cells. A young cell. So now we understand that DNA is the blueprint of life. How does it work? DNA creates RNA, RNA creates protein, and protein creates cells. And cells means life. All the things we just explained are happening all the time at a microscopic level and they're a lot more complicated. But we oversimplified it. We simplified it so everybody can easily understand. But in reality, it's a lot more complicated than that. But this is the thing that happens in every living thing in the world. In younger people, the cells are created more and faster and in older folks, slower and less. And it's the cells that make someone old or young. <laughs>